Hey guys, Ike here from Mike'sOutdoors.com. Today I'm here to offer you a solution to a problem that a lot of us have faced when wearing a safety harness in your tree stand. And the problem is, is you have your, your safety harness attached to the tree. Say this is your safety harness, you have it attached to the tree just like that. And as you get a deer in front of you, when you come back, your elbow actually runs into the strap of your safety harness and you can't pull your bow back. You end up either ducking below it or having to let the bow up and it ends up scaring the deer and ends up uh, ruining your opportunity to kill a deer. I know it's happened to a lot of people I know. I know a lot of people that won't wear a safety harness because they're afraid it's going to happen to them. I've seen it happen to guys on TV. It happened to me after watching 130, 140 inch deer for over an hour when I finally got a shot opportunity on him. As I turned and came back to draw, my elbow hit my strap and I couldn't draw back. And I actually ended up trying to trying to duck underneath it. He'd seen me draw and when I went to duck underneath it and I got my bow drawn all the way back, he took off. And so it ruined the shot opportunity, something that I'd waited for a long time to try to get that deer in front of me. And when I had the chance, my safety harness ruined it. So what I've got here is I've got an extension. And this is a real simple, real cheap, easy thing to do. And it may end up making being a difference between harvesting that deer and not harvesting that deer. So a disclaimer right off the bat, um, I'm not liable for anything. If you go out and do this, I'm not going to be liable for anything if you end up falling and this ends up not breaking. If you end up not buying the right thing, then you're on your own, basically. Um, and this does not come from me. This information comes from my stepdad, who has been climbing cell phone towers for about 20 to 25 years now. Um, so this is a, a knowledgeable guy who, who set this up for me and who, who helped me plan this thing out. I've been doing this for about three or four years now, but I haven't done this video because of the liability reasons, but I've been doing it for so long now, and I think if you do it right, I don't think there'll be a trouble with it. Um, so you're gonna buy, your, wanna buy your supplies for this from a reputable rock climbing uh, website or rock climbing sales store. I don't know if they have stores for them or whatever, but I bought all my stuff. Uh, my stepdad actually ended up buying all my stuff for me from a place where he buys all his climbing gear. So buy your climbing gear from a reputable uh, place and buy good climbing gear. Don't go to Walmart and buy rope. Don't go to Walmart and buy your carabiner. Uh, go to a reputable website or, or shop and buy rock climbing gear. This is the rope that I actually use in my lifelines and this is the rope that my stepdad suggested. This is the rope that's appropriate for the size, uh, my size and my weight, which is getting bigger and bigger. Same way with this carabiner. This is not a carabiner from Walmart. This is a carabiner that is weight rated for climbing and it's weight rated to get me, uh, to, to secure me to the tree and keep me from falling. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is get you a length of a good climbing rope and your carabiner. So once you get that in place, what you're gonna do is you're gonna tie an overhand knot in both ends of it. So an overhand knot, you're gonna double your, your rope up, you're gonna make a loop like that, you're gonna bring it over your hand, hence the name. And then on the back side here, you're just gonna put it right underneath, in between your hand and the rope, and pull it, pull your hand out, pull it right through. When you get that pulled through like that, Pull that thing really, really nice and tight. I put mine on the bumper of my truck and just yanked on it and just yanked on it until it was really tight. And then on this rope, I actually took and uh, after I cut it, I actually just took some some uh, black tape and just put over the end of it so the end hopefully won't fray and come apart and get uh, messed up over time. So what you're gonna do now that you got your two loops and you can carry two or three of these. I bought a big long section of this stuff and what I ended up doing was making two or three of these and this is just the longest one that I had. So what you're gonna end up doing is wrapping this around your tree and you're gonna take one of your overhand knots and just drop it through the other overhand knot. Now, this length, I use this longest one because I wanna show you guys, this is probably not a good thing having it this long. You're probably gonna want it quite a bit shorter than that. And this is the reason why I carry two or three of these. I got one that's only about two foot long, maybe. So it's this one's three and a half to four foot long, probably. Um, so I got one that's two foot long, and it's for these smaller trees. And what you, so what you want when you get there is you want this thing to be. I'm gonna go ahead and just tie a small overhand knot in it. This is another thing you can do if you get there and find out that this is too long. You can tie you a knot in the back side of it, and that will shorten it up quite a bit you're taking basically all that rope out of it and now making it that short so you can adjust it that way you can build two or three of them you can really do it however you want to do it but what I'm doing here is I want to put this about head level and I just want a little bit of an extension 
you can see there I only got about eight inches sticking away from the tree and that's about all you need eight eight inches or eight to ten inches is about all you need so you can set it up just like that and you can see what it does is as my as you're sitting in the tree stand against the tree it forms a loop in it you can see now instead of it being this being up here like this and being in my way it actually allows it to drop down and now when I go to pull my elbow or pull back my elbow can't hit it because it drops down below my elbow no matter what I do now I cannot I'm not gonna hit my elbow right. I can turn around to this side of the tree I can turn around to this side of the tree so it's no problem just that little bit more of an extension is better than having this up here just like this and getting in your way you can see now if I were to pull back it would be right about where my elbow would need to be and it's going to potentially get in the way so just like that I've got just enough of an extension that I can comfortably draw my bow back without hitting my harness so buy the appropriate gear get the appropriate length you can make two or three different sizes if you need to or you can do just simply like this and tie you an overhand knot in the middle of the rope to adjust the size to it. I just got two or three of them because I ended up having a bunch of rope when I ordered it and uh, I got two or three of them built just to have ease so I don't have to try to tie that knot or anything like that. Sometimes it takes me two or three attempts to, to get it to the right length. It just happened to work out perfectly for me this time. So that could mean the difference between killing a deer and not killing a deer and this safety harness can mean the difference between going home to your family and not going home to your family or this can mean the difference between walking upright or sitting in a chair for the rest of your life so if you're the kind of guy out there who doesn't wear a safety harness because you're afraid that it's going to cost you a deer look into getting one of these extensions build yourself one of these extensions it is a lot better than falling out of the tree and hurting yourself breaking your back breaking your neck causing brain damage or something like that so this is a, is a cheap easy way to make an extension for your your safety harness and it's a cheap easy way to make you feel better and more secure while you're in the tree my safety harness is just a bow hunter special from uh, hunter safety system and like i said buy this rope buy this carabiner from a rock climbing or a climbing company don't buy it from walmart don't buy it from lowe's don't buy it from any place like that buy it from some place that is specifically made for climbing because that's the kind of stuff you need the carabiner and the rope both and if you buy you a good section you can make you a bunch of these and you can actually just leave them in the tree that you plan to hunt from i end up carrying two or three with me um, and and just putting them up as i go up but i also got a lot of tree stands that have lifelines on them this is the same rope that I used to tie the Prusik knots in my lifeline, so I ended up just not having enough to put in every tree. But you can carry two or three of these around with you and get into any size tree. You can tie an overhand knot in it to take some of that slack out of there if you need to do that. So be sure to wear your safety harness. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share, and do all that good stuff down here on YouTube. Be sure to check us out on Facebook under Ike's Outdoors if you haven't already. And be sure to check out our website, ikesoutdoors.com. Appreciate you guys watching.